Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I have two lounge fly that I'm showing today. They are the two backpacks that I got off the Disney Wish cruise ship. The second one, she's staring at me, but I'm going to leave her till last. Can you guess the theme? If you've seen my videos before, I told you I was going to go full Little Mermaid because I'm slightly obsessed with Ariel and Ariel's stuff and lounge fly. Gadgets and Gizmo the plenty. But the first, did I get this one first? I think I did. I think I got this one on the day the shops opened and then I will come on to the story of the area one because it was nearly a myth. But first off, I was actually shocked that they had this on the Disney Wish because this was for the Disney Cruise 25th anniversary. We weren't on a 25th anniversary sailing. We were on a very merry Christmas cruise. I'm guessing they just had some left and it's a cruise backpack and I like it. So I thought treat myself i'm gonna get it because you know what i'm like with lounge fly and i can't i'm not 100 percent sure what the material of this one is it's not a sequin and it's not glitter but she shimmers so if anyone knows the actual material i mean i'm assuming there would be a tag somewhere that would tell me there's just like caution keep away from fire so i don't know oh i took the price off i took the price off so i don't know it it's probably 80 or 90 dollars as a bit of a guess i'm not 100 percent sure Look at this. Instead of having a bow, like some of them have, you probably can't see those ones, some of them have bows on. Oh, none of the aerial ones have bows. Well, there we go. A lot of them have bows. We have a cruise captain hat instead. Nice, thick, substantial cruise hat with the, the little lip at the top. And then we have the Disney Cruise Line and Lounge Fly badge. Because like I said, you can only get it on a Disney cruise. Although, was it, did they put some of this stuff online? I should really check these things before I speak. Because I've said it now and I don't know. So this may have gone online. There was a spirit jersey. It was nice. But I only really wanted the lounge one. Right? Now I absolutely love it when there is a detail as the zip puller. And this one for the zip puller. We have the little cruise logo emblem. It's so beautiful. Also if you hear the squeak. My little stool has started to squeak. So apologies. It's not my bones, it's the stool. But look at the shimmer. I just kind of move this from side to side. It's predominantly like blues and silvers because 25th anniversary. But every now and again, it seems like there's a slight rainbow effect to it with the little shimmer shimmer. That detailing is all the way around as well. So on both of the sides and at the top, is it on the back? Yes. So on the front of the ears and on the back of the ears as well, all over the back. See, I love, oh, I love it. The straps, actually, the straps and this side part here and the part where the zip is, that's also got like an iridescent sort of shimmer to it. So it's not like a like a dull colour. She's just very sparkly. And then the back is the same, the same shimmer, shimmer. But I can't, I just can't decide what this material is. So if anybody knows, it almost looks. I know it's not wood, but you know when you get wood effect because the, with the lines going down. If I hold that really close, can you see what I mean? It has the lines kind of going down the sides. I don't know, but I like it. So we're doing 360. I haven't, I don't think I looked at the inside of these ones. I'm pretty sure I just kept the packaging inside of them. So we could find out together. But normally when I'm going on any sort of Disney trip, I pack what I'm taking into the lounge flight. So as an example, if I'm doing a Winnie the Pooh bound, I will pack my Winnie the Pooh things into the Winnie the Pooh lounge fly. So the outfits are there and ready to go. And then it also saves room in the suitcase. That's how I get away with taking so many and buying so many. Good luck, Megan. Me and Megan are going back to Disneyland Paris. And mum's coming as well. The three of us are going to be let loose. We've actually already planned a kind of group Winnie the Pooh bound, I'll be Pooh Bear. I think Megan's going to be Piglet and Mum said, I'm pretty sure Mum couldn't decide between Eeyore and Tigger to start with and I think she settled on Tigger. We're going to be let loose. Should we do the Sanderson sisters for Halloween? Because we're going around Halloween time. I mean, I've got the, the long Sarah hair. That might have to be a thing, actually. I don't... Do I have any Hocus Pocus lines for like? I might have a Binks one up top there. We might have to do the Hocus Pocus trio. That would be, I'm already thinking about it. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Anyway, we'll have a look on the inside. Also, actually, Brainwave, because I just looked at the Hercules Lounge fly, the new cruise ship has been announced. 
So the, obviously the one we went on was the Wish. Mum loved it. We're probably going to go on another one. Girl quiz! Anyway, the next one is the Disney Treasure. And I think that has Aladdin and Jasmine in the foyer. The Wish had Cinderella. They have announced... Why am I talking when I'm taking this out? They've announced the name of the next ship is going to be the Disney Destiny. And from the look of the clip that they put online, it looks as though... I'm not... I'm trying not to look inside this one. That it's going to be heroes and villains theme on the cruise. Which is very different, very interesting. So Disney Destiny, and it was looking at the Hercules bag that reminded me... There's going to be Hercules on the cruise. Who else is a big fan of Hercules? So... I'm interested to kind of see, obviously I don't think it's going to be, <gasps> don't drop your lounge fly. Anyway, I'm interested to see how they're going to do the hero and villain thing. So is there going to be, obviously with the different restaurants, will there be a villain one? So it's all villainous, will there then be a hero one? I don't know, there's so many different ways that they could do it, but the kind of trailer or sneak peek had a lot of Hercules and Hades in there. I'm very excited for that one. Anyway, the inner lining for this one, it's that same kind of, like a teal, oh it's this, this kind of teal blue colour that's on the lip of the hat and the badge, and it's the Disney Cruise emblem. Sorry, for, I've just waffled on for a bit, haven't I? But there we go. And I believe it's just the three of them in the Triton class, so the Wish, the Treasure and the Destiny. Have you ever done a Disney Cruise? Let me know. I would... I mean, the ultimate bucket list for me personally is to have visited every Disney park in the world and have been on every Disney cruise. That is a lot. That is a lot. But, you know, hopefully, one day, maybe, got a few years to get it done, I'll do another quick 360. And then Ariel, she's right there. Oh, what's the bottom, actually? Oh, it's, that same, it's the same as the straps with the kind of iridescent, almost like a silver, like a pearlescent whitey silver let me just kick now i have got i'm not going to embarrass myself i have got my mermaid leggings on i very nearly put my mermaid tail on however it's not that easy to get around in so i didn't put my mermaid leggings on instead <sighs> story time okay when was it now not christmas just gone the one before Actually, pretty much since she has been released, she would sell out straight away on the cruises. Because obviously, oh, <gasps> the shell came open. Her voice was going to be released. Can't have that, can we? Because it's a Disney Cruise Line lounge fly, you can only get it on the Disney cruise ships. And I don't believe she's ever been on Shop Disney, unlike some of the other cruise lounge fly that have. I love Ariel. I love a sequin. So I had to get her. Obviously. Now. I did actually order one. Someone, okay, every now and again you get some personal shoppers. If they go on a cruise, they'll kind of say, I can get X amount of these things. First to comment gets the item. So I did order one. Not Christmas just gone. Before that, what year would that have been? 20, 20, around November 2022. And I don't know what happened. There must have been, I think it was actually the person who sent it because she'd sent me something before. In the process I had moved house, sent it to the old address and I only realised when it was just kind of by chance in between Christmas and New Year I looked at the tracking and it said something like addressy refused or no longer at the address and I was thinking I've been in all day, I've not had any attempted delivery, where's my aerial? So there was a big debacle and then it got lost. I tried to call like Royal Mail and be like, I will go to the centre, wherever it is right now, just give me. I will take all the house move details, show that I am me. This is, this is mine, I can tell you what's in there. If you want to open the box, I'll tell you what's in there. She got lost. So that was a kerfuffle. Fast forward a bit, sorry for the waffle, to the Disney Wish. Stores opened at, I believe they always open around 6pm. I think it's about, oh, shell, the foot it keeps coming open. Excuse me, close yourself. Probably because I'm messing with it as well. Anyway, sorry, I'm waffling. There's like a hundred things going on in my brain right now. Focus. So we got on the wish. The shops tend to open roughly about half an hour after you depart or set sail. It's something to do with like they don't then have to charge tax because they're out at sea. They're not kind of 
in any sort of land place where they have to charge tax, which is appreciated because it means you can buy more stuff. So I got to about five o'clock and I said to the family, do whatever you want, I'm going to the shop. I am going to get my aerial backpack because I have waited, it was 18 months at that point since she had been released to me then being on the wish, able to get her. I also screenshot a photo because I figured I'll ask one of the cast members where's this so I can just go straight there and just grab her because the last thing I want to do is see everybody else get her and then I'm sad. Got talking to Norma, lovely cast member who come and stood just outside, I think it was about 10 minutes before the shop opened so I quickly showed her a picture and I said like whereabouts is she because she's what I'm after, I want to go straight there and she said I'm so sorry we don't have it. It's gonna sound silly, I did start to tear a little bit there were other things I wanted, so that was fine. But when you've waited 18 months for something that you can only get on a Disney cruise, I started to then think swear words, which I'm not going to say because we're not going to swear, are we? PG, we will keep it PG. And I got, I did get a bit upset. Got a couple of other things. Got Christmas spirit jersey. What else did I get? The Wish spirit jersey. Oh, they also didn't have the Wish specific cruise lounge fly, but I didn't mind that one as much. It was the Ariel I was after because slight aerial fan I have an aerial tattoo just there in case anybody wanted to know fast forward to that night time after we ate in Arundel that was our first eating we were then I think I was taking some pictures with mom of the Christmas tree in the foyer dad felt quite sick so I went back to the room and Norma came up to me and she was like Hannah I found one for you I've put it aside in the back of the shop come and see me tomorrow at 10 a.m then I cried, didn't I? Because I got her. So Norma saved the day and it was actually Norma's birthday. So another happy birthday for Norma, even though it's very late now or very early for this year. So Norma saved the day. It was only a couple of days after that we went in a completely different gift shop and there were a couple there. But that is beside the point. I wouldn't have actually gone in that gift shop. I can't remember why I went in there. But there was no plan to actually go in there, so I wouldn't have seen her anyway. So Norma saved the day. So this backpack is even more special because she saw it and put it aside specifically for me. And then I had a little bit of a tear. But I finally, and that, that's the story time. I hope you've enjoyed that story and not just thought, shut up and show us the bag, Hannah. But here is the beautiful backpack. So we have sequins on the front of both of the ears. And we have the shells with a dingle, you have to have a dingle hopper with Ariel. You just have to. And the cruise line badge. And then more of the sequins at the front is this oh i don't want to i don't know if they're kind of reversible no i don't think they're reversible haven't they is it peach punch where they do reverse i'm not 100 sure oh i have hydrangea on the way she's coming another sequin to add to sequin central it's going to need a reader already isn't it so they're not reversible so be careful what i will say with this material as well she does bend I saw a lot of people online complaining because they would get them and there would be creases and bends all over them. So similar to if you saw the Figment cosplay video, that Figment lounge fly, the Figment one, it does bend and it does crease. So I am going to be very careful with her because I don't want it to get creased. But she's like the most beautiful teal iridescent sort of colour and that is all over. And on the bottom, and on the back, and on the straps, la la la. There are no sequins on the back. I don't mind that at all. I feel like she's a little bit understated, but she's perfect. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Never wear Ariel's concerned. Anyway, we will do 360. Oh, I left the I left the price on this one. Right, I will let you know the price in a second when it gets back around. Ninety-eight dollars, and I don't regret a single dollar of it. There are some that I buy, and then I think, oh, do I really need that one? Yes. Yes, I do. Really quickly as well, Waffle Central. My friend did a raffle and a Disney quiz, which I didn't win. But if you ask me a live action question, like who voiced someone or who directed something, I can't tell you. If you ask me questions on the animated characters, I'm going to win that. Look what I won. The Prince... Oh, there we go. We're shining. The Prince Eric autograph for the guy who voiced Prince Eric. So I thought I'd show that with Ariel Day. I now have Ursula's signature, I have Eric's signature, and my most prized lounge fly of all time. I have Jodie Benson Ariel's signature. 
and then Magic Kingdom Ariel. No offence, that one doesn't count as much. Still beautiful though. Anyway, we'll have a look at the inner lining. Did I say the price? I did. I did say the price. Apologies for all the waffle today. My brain clearly wants to get everything out. Ooh, ooh. No inner pocket. There wasn't on the other one. I didn't expect an inner pocket though. Ooh. Oh. She's jam packed full and I'm trying to be careful. So I don't I don't want to crease. Okie doke. It's like a very dark teal as the base, and then we have Ariel and a shell. Oh, is that going to show up? Hopefully, what I'll do, I'll shimmy over. I'm going to pop a flash picture up because the last thing I want to do is start bending this bag too much and have a crease. So, flash pictures. Other way to go. I also do put the packaging back inside because otherwise, she's a little bit. I'm not going to forcibly squish because. We want to keep her safe. Right, we'll put the packaging back inside just so she can keep her shape. I need to. I have a space down here. You can't see that. There is a shoulder bag. I'm going to have a small rearrange because I'm thinking maybe move this one there and then she can go there. What do we think? And then move this one down there and put the shoulder bag in front. Does that make any sense? Am I... Ooh. You know when you do things opposite? Like moving it that way. There we go. How? What do we think? Oh, I'll have a shimmy around. Now, normally, I would now tell you which one my favourite is. But I have a feeling we all know. If you know me, it's Ariel. If you don't know me, it's Ariel either way. She is just perfect. And I can't stop smiling when I see her because I have her now. Actually, let me know. Is there a lounge fly that you've kind of always wanted waited for maybe even you nearly had one but then didn't and then when you finally get it you don't quite know what like what do i do now i don't want to use her because what if she gets damaged i just want to sit and look at her in my aerial bound in my mermaid tail i hope you've enjoyed this video not necessarily me waffling that much i'm now going to have a faff with the shelves i also need to rearrange sequence central down actually i might just do like another I'm not going to do another big reshuffle. I'll just have another little faff. See how it feels and go from there. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!